Good morning, wait a minute, say that. Good morning, Glenda. Good morning. <clears throat> uh, what day is it? Today is March the 8th, my little sister's birthday. Really? She's turning 50. Oh, wow! That's, and, yes! And we're going to have a busted contest this evening. Oh, gosh, yes! And I'm practicing my busted motion. Can you, hold on, hold on, let's clear the camera up. Let's focus. Uh, hold on. Focus, focus, Buki, focus. Okay, sh you gonna practice? Yeah. Okay, hit it. Bust it. Bust it. Bust it. Oh. Ah! Wait, what's that? I lost my phone. Oh, God, no. Oh, yes, girl. Get it. Oh, oh, my gosh. When you get over 50, you gotta hold on. Ah! Bust it. I like that outfit. That is the bomb. Work it, work it. I always remember when you're over 50, you gotta hold on to something. Okay, what is it? Ah! <laughs> get it, girl, get it! <laughs> oh, that outfit is the bomb. So, what we got? We get ready to walk. Where's our, our other sister walking to? Bust it, bust it. Hey, hey, mm, 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 mm. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, hey, girl. Hey, 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 hey. Lights, camera, action. Lights, camera. Okay, you can now. Hey guys, come a look close. Happy Monday! It's my sister's birthday, and she's 55 fabulous years old. So we're going to celebrate today, and it's going to be amazing. But right now, we are going to get some exercise. Yes. Okay. So let me see if I can take them outside because you can't really see in this house really good with this camera unless it come in clear when you put it on the TV. Gwen. Uh huh. I might need some help. <laughs> no, you good. Go ahead, leave it open. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. Oh Jesus. Wait, wait. Oh, she's wait, trying to push wait, them little things wait, up in there. Wait, oh, 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 Look like I'm on. Oh, it's gonna stop right there if I don't believe it. It ain't going no further. You don't think so? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then when you pull it down, you gotta clamp it down and lock it so it won't zip on down to your waist. I really like it. It's really cute. It's cute. And a kitten caboot. And lock down your lock, a zipper because otherwise it'll slip on down. Okay, guys. So there we go. 2D. Oh, Lord. What's that? You think when you carry this camera, you really need to have them straps on this thing. Oh, wait. Because first uh, of all, this camera weighs at least 20 pounds. I'm not carrying it. This, I'm going to put it back in the house. I'm closing. I was just trying to get some vlog out. The sun is pretty right here. Okay, guys, we're going to take a walk and get some miles in. But as, as my other sister says, as Linda says, we're going to get some leisure miles in, not uh, pounding miles like my oldest sister will do. We're on vacation. But we're on vacation. So you see all this booty back here? Oh my gosh. It's just bam, bam, bam. And let me show you my other sister's outfit. Oh no, they've already seen mine. You see her coat? Is that not cute? Is that not cute? Y'all, y'all. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. She got it going on. <laughs> boom, boom. Now can you go down without holding on onto something? Oh, there's always something to hold. <laughs> bam, 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 bam! Oh, Lord. This camera's too big for us to carry and walk. So, 
So we're going to turn this off and we'll see you in a minute. This pie was absolutely delicious. I think I ate a fourth of it by myself. <laughs> and there's only like maybe um, a slice left. And no one goes for it either. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and believe me, she means that. When did, did you have some? Ditto. Hold on. You you don't want to be on the vlog? No. Okay. Glenda said it was so delicious. Hold on. Can you you want to be on the vlog? Glenda, how was the being by Jaslyn is right it here. Was beautiful. Oh wow. Girl, you need to be in the bean pie history book. <laughs> Did you hear her? Of the world, girl. <laughs> Jocelyn is laughing. You are the she's, bean pie specialist. She's, I think you should make bean pies for everybody. She's, Birthday bean. Ex by Jocelyn. <laughs> by Jocelyn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Glenda. You, would you like to be on the vlog, Bernie? Sure. Bernie has something for you, Jocelyn. I'm hey, glad good. you brought that to my attention. She's, I had a slice the other day. I tried to eat before eight. Did you hear her? Well, after eight. <laughs> and I'm glad somebody said bean pie because I'm going to have me some bean pie as soon as I get through with this. That's if I don't get the last slice. <laughs> well, I hope the camera is off when I go for the refrigerator. She said, okay, Jocelyn, that bean pie is, uh, what do they call it in Britain? Uh, um, no. Uh, when some when something is it's really good they call it um they call it <laughs> um oh gosh <laughs> hold on I'll think of it <laughs> um Fifi are you dressed it's a palate pleaser I like that I like that a palate pleaser the pleasing palate okay guys um, Okay guys, this is a plug on the vlog for the pleasing palette. And you can see it on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, it is something you want to take some time out and go and see what it's all about. Because it's worth it. And the creator behind the pleasing palette is on my ear. And how would you want to identify yourself on that? Ma'am. Chef Jazz. That's what. Thank you. I love that one. Chef Jazz is the creator. Oh, certified by the universe, baby, because there is nothing here that needs to certify her because she is certified by the universe and her food is divinely blessed and so good so good matter of fact you're welcome i really need to go in here and fight somebody for that last slice maybe i should do it yes one slice maybe i should do it sneakily i should do it Bert Alfira, are you are you um ready to be on the vlog you're getting dressed now okay i just need your birthday girl test I need your birthday girl testimony. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Girl. Oh, girl. Oh, I've got to tell her that. <laughs> I've got to put that on the vlog. <laughs> so, let, okay, so I'm going to see. Uh-huh, I'm warming up uh, breakfast. <laughs> You're right. Mm -mm. Ah, ooh. Ooh, that's hot. Mm. Ooh, that looks good. You see? Yeah. That's hot too. I think I've kept it in there too long. Mm. And I'm going to get my um, get my I guess jelly. So, oh Jaslyn, that looks so good. So I'm going to put just a little bit of that is ridiculous. The the um, the syrup fell in my plate. 
<laughs> There's my. Um, do you do you all drink alkaline water, Jasmine? Oh my God, it's so good. Um, that is so cool. The sexy one that cuts her, I love it. I'm the pineapple cutter. Your mama. So the I have a question you're supposed to answer today. Oh, the Lord. The questions that are here are questions whereas my sister wrote them up. So one yeah. of my questions that I'm going to answer uh -huh. is what can I improve about myself and how? I love that. So. What are you going to do? I'm going to learn to cut down on my procrastination. I love that. And move in further and closer to my completion. I love that. Now, that's not a word that's in your book, but it's <laughs> definitely in mine. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Because anybody this sexy needs <laughs> to be 100% lined up with the universe. Hey. Hey. So in other words, yes. I'm gonna eat more natural. Uh-huh. That's why I have a pineapple here. So self-improvement. Uh-huh. Instead of a, a canned pineapple. Okay, cool. That's why I have an actual pineapple that grew in a pineapple tree. Mm-hmm. On a pineapple vine. <laughs> in a pineapple forest. Oh Lord. On a pineapple bush. Oh goodness. I don't know where they come from, but it's kind of heavy. <laughs> so in other words. Me and my pineapple. We're yes. Gonna, we're, gonna yes. Start, we're gonna start being more natural. Oh, I like that. I'm going to keep my eyes open. For what? For a fantastic gentleman that like natural things as well. See, I don't have a fake booty. I got that big girl back there. Boom. 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 boom, boom. <laughs> okay. Okay. I need a man that likes to touch something that is like memory foam. <laughs> Put your hands on them, it's gonna sink in. <laughs> and when you pull them away, it's gonna push out. And remember. <laughs> oh, hey, push, push. But anyway, it's been amazing. And I've had the greatest birthday weekend this weekend. And my birthday is November 9th. <laughs> November 9th. Hint, hint. November 9th. What does that mean? Yeah, that means that there's an Airbnb somewhere down here in Florida. I need to be at it. <laughs> With some palatable water? With some palatable water. <laughs> some fantastic <laughs> ladies like these right here. Oh, cool. And we're going to enjoy. I should say so. That would be amazing. I like that. Yes, ma'am. What other self-improvement do you have? Okay, um... I'm going, I would like to try, see, the pandemic has made, turned me into a person that doesn't comb my hair much. So I'm going to start trying to comb my hair again. You know what I'm saying? That hair looks nice, though. Thank you. Thanks to me and the Chinese beauty supply store, we work together. <laughs> Turn around, ma'am. Oh, that's so cute. Your hair is long. Super long. Hey. Hey, hey, whoa. Remember, when you're over 50, you have to hold on to something. Don't oh. hurt yourself. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> and if you can get up on your own, I'm like, be happy. <laughs> okay, I like to play more sports. I, like, I love tennis, so I, I like to play more tennis. I would like to play more tennis. Cool. 
and uh, I'm good at tennis. Now I walk down for the tennis ball. Okay. So I'd like to be uh, more proactive um, with the tennis. Yeah, and not reactive just because something goes on. Okay. Yes. Oh, so, I love it. There I am. Um, anything else? Let's say I'd like to spend a little more time working on my skin. Yes. Because I have nice skin. Mm -hmm. You know, with these masks and everything, they'll put bumps on your face because the fabric is not, you're not right. having fabric touch your skin. Right. So um, they will do that. So I want to cultivate my skin more. Mm -hmm. More moisturizers and all that because I mm -hmm. stop wearing lipstick and all that good stuff. What's to use behind a mask? But I got a plastic piece that keeps it from being lippy. Right. So you got to clean that piece. So. Anyway, Ooh, that's sexy. Anytime you feel like you look better with your mask on and off, <laughs> you still look sexy. You know what I'm saying? That is cute. That I is sexy. My mask looks good on me. It so does. I'm going to wear it as long as I have to, you know, so a man can see me for more than just my beautiful face. Oh my gosh. You have to get back and watch my beautiful booty. Because <laughs> we ain't got to put a mask on now. <laughs> Look back at it. Boom. 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 <laughs> so, anyway, it's kind of cool when people can see more than just your mask. Exactly. I mean, more than just your face. I'm sorry. Precisely. So, you know, we should be more creative as women. I concur. You know, we always use the face and, and the waist and all that stuff to get a man. Uh, yeah. You know, how about if the face is covered up? And the waist is coming up, you still are supposed to be able to get them in. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So that's where I am right now. Well, I think there. you got it. And um, this is weird, but I'm going to learn to sit up straighter, you know? Uh-huh. Because when you get over 50, yeah. you're going to be hunched over like the hunchback of no success. Exactly. You want to stand up straighter, be more focused on your, right. your poise. Right. And people used to say, pull in your stomach. Well, let's just say, it's a little too much stomach, pull in. Oh, Lord. But at least, at least stand up straight. But when you stand up straight, mm -hmm. it becomes a booty do. <laughs> because your stomach stick out further than your booty do. <laughs> what do you like most about being over 50? What I like most about being over 50 is the expectations that people have of you. You can always use the term, I'm over 50. If you see a young man and he's too young for you, you just immediately tell him, I know I look good, but I'm over 50. And if he don't back up on you, no regrets, baby. You are a good I'm over 50. So you already know that it's all in power. What's going to be? Exactly. So don't be no mess about it. You know that you was over 50 and all that kind of stuff. So you have to do something, let's say, pick up something, hat. You know, you say, uh-uh, I'm over 50. When you over 50, people are supposed to rush to help you. Yes. And do nice things for you. Yes. Young people with better backs and, and all that. When you get back, you may not be better. It's just that you're over 50 and you're not over Right. So it's, it's amazing. When you're over 50, you expect that when you walk in a bank, or a car dealership, you're supposed to walk out with what you want to drive. Exactly. Instead of what you can drive. Exactly. You know, you're supposed to walk out with what you want and not for, you know, what you feel like you might get to afford. Right. Because over 50, there's, you're already over halfway to 100. And if you plan to make 100, those days are supposed to be your best days, not your worst days. But look cute now, because this outfit is definitely not over 50. Well, no. Somebody in it that's over 50. <laughs> somebody walked up to you and said, oh, your stomach is showing through your top. You tell them, I'm in Florida. And in Florida, anybody can do what they want. Whatever they want. Whatever they want. Over 50. Over 50. So, everybody, if you have a problem with how you look, just come to Florida. Because anything goes in Florida. Hello, birthday girl. So you are, I love that, I love that wave, it's like a parade wave. <laughs> oh my God, Pisces. Yes, I'm the Pisces. And the birthday girl. What kind of card is that on your lap? So this is one of my birthday cards from Jasmine. I love it. Oh. 
That's pretty. I want to let you know that I'm very appreciative and thankful for my beautiful card that you sent to me all the way from North Carolina. It was a victory. And not only that, she baked a bean pie for me that was excellent. So good. All of us enjoyed it. And actually, it was my first time ever trying a bean pie. So <laughs> I was grateful for having you. Thank you so much, Dad. Wow. That was so sweet. A first. Yes. How does it feel being 50? It was, well, being 50, it feels spectacular. Wow. For so many reasons. Um, the number one reason is that I'm blessed. Amen. And I feel wonderful. I think I look wonderful. I, I agree. Have a wonderful family that loves me showed up for me on my special 50th birthday. Um, my family took time out of their lives, which they didn't have to. And time is something that you can never get back, and they did it simply for me. This speaks volumes, so I'm very I'm grateful for that. So I have a lot to be thankful for at 50. I have my faculties, my health and strength, so there are no complaints. In a profession that is a second profession for you. How do you do that? Be the top in a second profession. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I think it's a passion. This is something that I've always wanted to do since childhood. I'm going to teach. Never knew that I would teach kindergarten and absolutely love it. Wow. <laughs> this brings me joy on so many levels. Wow. It just means that I'm multifaceted. I started out my career in social work. My bachelor's degree is in social work. My master's degree is in management. I've done it all. I manage social workers. And, um, you know, I enjoyed that career. It was just time for it to be over. And, and I knew that it was time for it to be over. And so I just made my exit and um, went directly into education. And here I'm today. It's so awesome. Well, you look so pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you guys going to? I see your hair is straightened. Is your you're a curly girl? You're natural. Curly girl. And your hair is uh, bra strap length, right? I believe so. Wow. You made it. And uh, wait a minute, it is beyond bra strap. It was beyond. So, absolutely. And you only press once a year. Absolutely. Around my birthday, I press it out to have it cut. I love that. That's the only way that I prefer to have it cut when it's in its straightened state. Wow. Yeah. Yes, I am a natural. Are you going to do a um, sportswear haul later on in the vlog? Sportswear haul. Maybe so. That may, that sounds good. That sounds like fun. I think I want to join you. Yes. Yes, because I've got some pieces I want to show too. Let's do it. We can do that. All right. I love that. Oh, you're this is my shapely. T-shirt that my sister Glenda made. I love that. Oh yes. On the little shoes. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Here we go. Look at the hair swinging. Yes. Perfect. So, Let's yeah. do the haul later. This is me. We'll do the haul. Oh, I love that. Yeah. This is me. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh wow. So thank you, Claudia. Fine, 50 and fabulous. Absolutely. You're welcome. And this is my best friend Sharon. Hi Sharon. Oh wow, look at Sharon since middle school. Wow, that is what do you think? Um had you guys to stay friends for so long because so many people can't stay friends. For a long time. Um, mm. Loyalty for me. Oh wow, loyalty is important. You said. Yeah, that's. Yes. Yes. And always being there for one another when times are hard, when times are high and low. Yeah. 
And also having the ability to agree to disagree. Right. Oh, I love that too. Right. To, to disagree because you can't be on the same page all the time. And then we, we have different uh, personalities and we complement each other, I feel. Ooh. A little bit more outspoken. Okay. So, yeah. An extrovert. And you're more of a, would you say introvert? Um, I used to be more of an introvert, but now I, I don't think I am so much. What do you think? No, you, you come back to share. Right. <laughs> so I feel like life experiences have drawn me out of my shell a lot. Oh, okay. Okay, so. A lot of, times, a lot of ways I think I've been forced out. to leave my shell. Mm -hmm. So like yes. Me, with me, I have, and I feel like a lot of people have the ability to no, you wouldn't um sense things of people. And yes. I always sense the genuineness of our yes. And she was just always so genuine and everything was so real with her. So yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm about to Wow. <laughs> I, I love that. that. For sure, I concur with that. You have to have some form of ingenuity about yeah. a friendship like that. It's probably the ground layer. And I agree with Sharon. Like she's extremely genuine. Wow. Um, do you all have three children apiece? Is that true? We do, we sure do. Oh okay. I did with that last child was pregnant the same. Oh my god. And it was so funny because I was laughing at her. I was like, you know you two over here have another child. <laughs> I would never do that. And I'm like, no. And it was like two weeks later, I'm like, oh, Yeah. 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 Yeah
I'll walk outside to get some fresh air. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, nothing. I was kind of worried when I first said that I was coming. Yes. So I did get a good feel of everyone because I've never had the experience to be around all of you guys. <laughs> I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> the first time I was like, okay, so you know it's gonna be one in a group that's not gonna like you. <laughs> you <separate it. laughs> but I haven't experienced that. You know, sometimes I get a little vibe from Glenn, but you know <laughs> What's the vibe okay, you know? <laughs> Is that eight years your senior? Right. I'm eight years. No, you're just either way. Okay. But at any token, I was the baby for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. Before this little yellow face showed up <laughs> with this cute little curly hair. Yeah. And when it showed up, I was like, Mom, what's going on here? And when my mother brought her home, all the focus that was on me, because I used to A, suck my finger for a long time. Because I was a baby, don't forget, I was a baby. Yeah. But anyway, y'all get these. Y'all know 
ain't know what I'm talking about. But my little mama was standing up at the sink. I'm standing in the bitch tub. Thought I was looking like a baby, right? And what happened? My poor little mama looked down at me because I was shocked. I was really shocked. That's like I am now, except I was this big. And I was eight. And she said, I can't find no more rubbers in your stars to back then you were. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 